Have you ever wondered how a single event can alter the course of history and reshape political landscapes? Let's journey back to 2011, a time of great upheaval in the Middle East. A wave of anti-government protests, known as the Arab Spring, was sweeping across the region, and Syria was not immune. In this tumultuous period, Syria found itself at a crossroads. Initially, peaceful protests erupted in the country, with citizens voicing their demands for political reforms and greater freedoms. But these cries for change were met with a harsh response from the government. This heavy-handed approach, instead of quelling the unrest, fanned the flames of rebellion. And soon, these protests morphed into an armed rebellion. This was the spark that ignited the Syrian civil war, a conflict that would go on to have far-reaching implications, not just for Syria but for the entire Middle East and beyond. The Syrian civil war is more than just a conflict within Syria's borders. It's become a complex web of alliances and rivalries, with regional and global powers vying for influence. Over the past decade, this war has drawn in a myriad of players, each with their own agendas and interests at stake. What began as a domestic crisis has evolved into a geopolitical chessboard, with Syria as the battleground. In a world where the balance of power is constantly shifting, the Syrian civil war has served as a catalyst for change. It has reshaped alliances, shifted geopolitical dynamics, and set off a ripple effect that has reached the far corners of the globe. It has also triggered one of the most devastating humanitarian crises of our time, with millions of Syrians forced to flee their homes and seek refuge elsewhere. But perhaps the most profound impact of the Syrian civil war is the one that's hardest to see, the unseen impact. This is the impact that isn't immediately apparent, the consequences that unfold slowly over time, the changes that are only noticeable when you look back and see how far we've come from where we started. The seeds of conflict sown in Syria have grown into a tree with branches that stretch across the Middle East and beyond. In the Game of Thrones that is Middle Eastern politics, where does the Syrian civil war fit? Let's begin with Iran, a staunch ally of the Syrian government. Iran's involvement in the war is primarily driven by its desire to maintain a strong Shia axis in the region. For Iran, Syria is a crucial link to Hezbollah in Lebanon, providing a strategic bridge to the Mediterranean Sea. This alliance has been fortified over the years with Iran providing significant military and financial support to the Syrian government. Then we have Saudi Arabia, Iran's regional rival. The Saudi government, led by a Sunni majority, has been actively supporting the Syrian opposition, aiming to weaken Iran's influence in the region. The Syrian civil war has further deepened the sectarian divide between these two regional powers, exacerbating their long-standing rivalry. Turkey, on the other hand, has its own set of interests. Initially, Turkey hoped to see a friendly Sunni government in Syria, which led to its support for the rebels. However, as the war dragged on, their focus shifted to containing the Kurdish forces along their southern border, fearing a strengthened Kurdish presence could incite separatist sentiments among its own Kurdish population. These regional powers aren't just bystanders. Their involvement in Syria is a strategic play, a bid to shape the outcome of the war in a way that serves their geopolitical interests. The alliances and rivalries at play have only complicated the conflict, turning it into a proxy battleground. The relationships between these regional powers have been significantly impacted by the war. What was once a domestic issue has escalated into a regional conflict, with each country trying to extend its sphere of influence, often at the expense of the Syrian people. In essence, the Syrian civil war is far more than a national crisis. It has become a stage upon which the power dynamics of the Middle East are being redefined. It's a complex interplay of regional politics, sectarian tensions, and competing interests. The Syrian civil war has become a chessboard for regional powers, each maneuvering for strategic advantage. But what happens when a local conflict catches the attention of global superpowers? This question brings us to the global chessboard, where the stakes are high and the players are powerful. The Syrian civil war, initially a local conflict, has attracted the attention of global superpowers like the United States and Russia. Let's start with Russia. Syria has been a Russian ally since the Cold War. It's not just about camaraderie, it's about strategic interests. Syria is Russia's foothold in the Middle East, a region dominated by U.S. allies. The war threatened this foothold and Russia stepped in to protect it. Their involvement has been substantial, from military aid to diplomatic backing, all aimed at preserving the Syrian government under Bashar al-Assad. On the other side of the chessboard, we have the United States. 
The U.S. interest in Syria is less about alliance and more about regional stability and counterterrorism. The rise of extremist groups like ISIS in the Syrian conflict posed a direct threat to U.S. security interests. The U.S. has supported various rebel groups fighting against the Assad regime, with the aim of ending the war and ousting Assad. These differing interests have made the Syrian war a point of contention between Russia and the U.S. It's not just about Syria, it's about their global standing, their influence in the Middle East, and their strategic goals. The war has been a test of their resolve, their strategies, and their diplomatic prowess. And let's not forget about the United Nations. This global body has struggled to find a solution to the crisis, often hamstrung by the differing interests of its leading members. So, what we have here is not just a civil war, but a complex web of geopolitical interests and strategic maneuvers. And at the center of it all is Syria, a nation torn apart by war, yet holding the attention of the world's most powerful nations. Syria, a small nation in the Middle East, has become a battleground for global superpowers. What is the human cost of a war that seems to have no end in sight? In the face of relentless conflict, over half of Syria's pre-war population has been forced to flee their homes. That's more than 11 million people, a number so vast it's nearly impossible to comprehend. Some have found relative safety within Syria's borders, but others, millions in fact, have had to make the painstaking decision to leave their homeland behind. These displaced people are not just statistics on a page, they are mothers, fathers, children, each with a story of survival. They have experienced unimaginable hardship, from the loss of loved ones to the destruction of the places they once called home. And yet, their struggles do not end when they cross the border. Neighboring countries have been strained to their limits, providing refuge to those fleeing the violence. Lebanon, a country of just 6 million, now hosts more than a million Syrian refugees. The impact is felt in every corner of society, from overcrowded schools to saturated job markets. In Jordan, Zatari refugee camp, once a temporary solution, has evolved into a semi-permanent city. Its residents, Syrian refugees, live in a state of limbo, their lives on hold as they wait for a conflict with no clear end in sight to finally cease. Turkey, housing more than 3.5 million Syrian refugees, is facing its own set of challenges. From integrating these displaced individuals into society to managing the economic burdens, the road ahead is long and fraught with obstacles. But let's not forget that behind these challenges are human beings, individuals who had no choice but to leave everything behind. They are not merely victims of circumstance but resilient survivors, striving to rebuild their lives amidst unimaginable adversity. The echoes of war reverberate far beyond the battlefield, reaching into the lives of millions of innocent people. In the midst of chaos, who emerges from the shadows to take control? The Syrian civil war wasn't just a battle between opposing factions within the country. It also created a power vacuum that allowed extremist groups to rise and gain influence. One such group is the Islamic State, also known as ISIS. Born out of the ashes of the conflict, ISIS capitalized on the instability and the discontentment of the populace, quickly gaining ground and asserting control over large swaths of territory. They didn't just seize physical territory but also the minds of many, spreading fear and imposing their radical interpretation of Islam. But how did this happen? How did a group like ISIS manage to rise from the rubble? Well it's a complex web of factors. The civil war in Syria was a fertile ground for such a group. It provided the perfect environment, a failing state, a population desperate for order amidst chaos, and a lack of strong local forces to keep them in check. Moreover, the Syrian government's focus was on battling the rebellion, leaving a void that ISIS was all too ready to fill. They stepped into the power vacuum, providing a semblance of order and governance, albeit through fear and violence. This isn't unique to Syria though, history is riddled with instances of extremist groups exploiting instability to gain influence. What sets the Syrian case apart is the magnitude of the crisis and the global attention it garnered. The rise of ISIS in Syria wasn't just a local or regional issue. It had implications for the entire world. The struggle for influence in Syria also had a profound impact on the balance of power in the Middle East. Traditional powerhouses found their influence waning, while non-state actors like ISIS emerged as significant players. This shift has added a new layer of complexity to an already convoluted geopolitical landscape. The struggle for influence in Syria has given rise to forces that have left an indelible mark on the Middle East. The Syrian civil war has indeed reshaped the region in ways that will reverberate for years if not decades to come. 
as the dust settles what does the future hold for Syria and the Middle East. In the aftermath of the conflict Syria's path forward is shrouded in uncertainty. The country lies in ruins with a generation scarred by war. A crucial question hangs in the balance. Can Syria rise from the ashes and rebuild? The answer is as complex as the conflict itself, but let's explore some possibilities. Firstly, the reconstruction of Syria will be a Herculean task. The cost is estimated to be in the hundreds of billions of dollars, an amount that Syria cannot afford alone. Therefore, international support will be paramount. Yet the political dynamics and the involvement of international powers in the war could complicate aid efforts. Secondly, the power vacuum left by the war could give rise to a new struggle for influence. Syria's neighbors and global powers have vested interests in the region. This could lead to a realignment of alliances and power structures which could further destabilize the region or optimistically engender a new era of cooperation. Thirdly, the refugee crisis has the potential to reshape the demographic and political landscape of the Middle East. The return of millions of Syrians to their homeland could be a catalyst for change, or it could exacerbate existing tensions. The way this issue is handled will have far-reaching implications. Lastly, the conflict has empowered non-state actors and extremist groups. Their continued presence poses a significant security challenge for Syria and the wider region. The eradication of these elements and the establishment of a stable, inclusive government in Syria is essential for long-term peace. As we gaze into the crystal ball, it's clear that the future of Syria and the Middle East is uncertain. The path forward is fraught with challenges and potential pitfalls, but it's also filled with opportunities for reconciliation, reconstruction, and renewal. The impact of the Syrian civil war will continue to shape the Middle East for years to come. So what have we learned about the Syrian civil war and its impact on the Middle East? We've journeyed through a complex narrative uncovering the unseen impact of the Syrian civil war on the Middle East. We've seen how regional powers have played a significant role, each with their own interests and agendas. This has not been a conflict contained within Syria's borders, but a regional power play, with nations like Iran, Saudi Arabia and Turkey each vying for influence and control. On a global scale this conflict has turned into a chessboard for international powers. The United States, Russia and China have all had their part to play, each making strategic moves that have had far-reaching implications for the global balance of power. One of the most heart-wrenching aspects of this conflict has been the humanitarian crisis. Millions of Syrians have been displaced, forced to flee their homes and seek refuge in neighboring countries and beyond. The world has watched as this crisis has unfolded, and it's a stark reminder of the human cost of war. We've also delved into the rise of extremist groups within the power vacuum left by the conflict. The destabilization of Syria has provided fertile ground for these groups to grow, further complicating the situation and adding another layer to the struggle for influence in the region. Looking towards the future, we've explored the potential implications of the Syrian civil war on the Middle East. The conflict has reshaped the geopolitical landscape, and its effects will undoubtedly be felt for years to come. So, where does this leave us? The Syrian civil war is a complex and multifaceted issue. It's not just about the fighting within Syria's borders, but about the wider geopolitical implications, the humanitarian crisis, and the struggle for power and influence. It's a stark reminder of how a local conflict can ripple outwards, affecting not just the immediate region but the entire world. The Syrian civil war is not just a local conflict but a complex web of interests, alliances and consequences that reach far beyond its borders.